Hi and welcome. In this quick tip, I want to show you a way that you can really improve the speed in which you export your files from Lightroom. I know a lot of Lightroom users were first Photoshop users and they got really used to a feature in Photoshop called Image Processor. And I hear a lot of people say, well, why don't you bring Image Processor to Lightroom? Well, what I'm going to show you, um, although you can't export more than one file form at a time in Lightroom, I actually think you're going to like the way that Lightroom exports better than image processor. So let's take, for example, these images here. Let's say I want to export them, and I want to export them as JPEGs. I want to export a full res JPEG, and then I want to export a lower, smaller, um, lower quality JPEG. So I'll go ahead and click export. And I would go through all of the export options, for example, where I want to export to, um, whether or not I want to put it in a subfolder and add it back to the catalog, if I want to rename it, if I want to compress it, and if so, what quality and what image format, and then also resize to fit. I would go through this once, and I really only have to go through it one time, because when I'm finished, I would then add this as a preset to Lightroom. And you can see I have a number of presets here under Batch Process. So I have this JPEG Full Size, Quality 90. I also have a JPEG Low Res, Quality 80, which simply changes the quality here and resizes the file down. I also have presets if I want to export multiple images to 8-bit in Adobe RGB or 16-bit. I even have presets to export different flavors of DNG. My point here is that you want to go into the export options and set up all the exports and add them as presets. That way, when you're exporting multiple images to multiple file types or even the same file type with different settings, it's as easy as using those presets. Because I'm not even going to use the preset here. I'm going to hit cancel. Because I want to show you that if you simply right mouse click, you can then go down to the export menu and you'll see all of these presets. So even though Image Processor allows you to, say, save out as JPEG files and PSD files at the same time, the great thing about Lightroom is I can start a batch process, say, of JPEG files here, and then I can right mouse click again, go back to Export, and then choose my other JPEG option, and then go back again and choose export, and then choose maybe the PSD option. And you can see that I can batch load these so that each one is going to happen sequentially. If I was using image processor, I would have to wait for the first set of JPEGs to export before I could start the second set. And maybe with 12 or 15 images, that doesn't seem like a big deal. But if you had an entire wedding, maybe 2,000 images that you wanted to export, I think that Lightroom has this terrific advantage of being able to set up the presets and then the ability to go ahead and queue up all of these multiple exports while you can go ahead and go home. I'm Julianne Koss. That's my quick tip.